Welcome back to the second break for Art Asian. So now we're gonna see the movie, the comedian movie which is telling the story about love in Who Am I? <laughs> Who Am I or Kiyom Jia Nakna is the debut comedy and lesbian themed tragic romance film. In 2009, by writer and director, Kamaz novelist, Porn Puang Bopa, the plot deals with a taboo lesbian love story about a comedian American woman infected with a famous comedian actress. Rad, a Cambodian American woman who returns to Cambodia in order to meet her favorite Khmer singer actress, Tida. After a series of long distance telephone conversations with strong help and support, Tida became god sister of Rad, who was fallen in love with her and her family. Their relationship began as a best friends and they became inseparable. Thereafter, Rad and Tida were inseparable and constantly spent time with each other. Unknowns to Tida, Rad had romantic feelings for her. In one night, Tida is sexually assaulted by Rad. She cried out, and obviously her mom heard that. Tida warned by her mother not to have any type of intimate relationship with Rad. Having realized that she has fallen in love with Rad later, they continue to find ways to see each other. <laughs> ไอ้บ้องซ้ําโตแต่บ้องเธอมันซ้ําร่มจูงปูโอนนี่นี่Ultimately, Tida's parents find out the attempt to separate the two by marrying Tida to a man. She and Rad ran off together in the day of a wedding. And are pursued by the enraged fiancé, he confronts Rad and brandishing a gun. He takes aim and shoots Rad, killing her. Devastated by her love for dates, Tida ends her own life with a gunshot. Her parents plead to save their daughter from suicide was done in vain. The hardship of love between two people of the same sex is highlighted throughout the film, including conflicting parent child wills as in the comedy and society perception. <laughs> And it's a big surprise for comedy and movie industry because this movie actually got 4,000 viewers in the first week, which in Siem Reap and also Phnom Penh is not normal for comedy and movie industry at all because they are very tiny. According to the director Porn Puang Bo Pa, this film has been successful beyond expectation. While the film industry has declined, this film draw great attention. The film has also surprised Kemedia with a new and taboo plot of a same-sex love, which created a monster wave of movie goers to the cinema. Initially, the director, however, was concerned that she wouldn't get the national permit to make this film from the Ministry of Fine Arts. She was apprehensive because of the film topic and how Cambodians would receive it, as it is against Cambodian traditional views. The message of the film could be seen with two different views. 
One of the theme is a positive view regarding homosexuality. In Cambodian society, same-sex love or relationship are thrown upon such acts are real as a shame and degrading for the family image or reputation. The theme which was promoted in such a politically correct manner conveys the message to avoid discrimination of gays and lesbians in Cambodia. Another view is a negative one. Such relationships are forbidden and should not be allowed to be carried on a Cambodian society. Gays and lesbians are not allowed to live happily ever after in a much conservative Southeast Asian nation. Anyway, with a lesbian love plot already in place with the Kyomje Nakna, Cambodia also announced its annual gay pride parade in Phnom Penh again, which occurred in mid May of 2009 and coincided with the International Day Against Homophobia. The success of the film is most likely due to the very proactive international communities of LGBTs fight for equal marriage rights. The coincidence of the film release has since created more interest around the world in this film. Hmm. <coughs> Apa? Lip lete. Mau lip le nyom mau. Hmm, lip art. Okay. Some people say and asking why this film become successful in Cambodia. There is a reason I think it is right because it's asking for the equality for same-sex marriage, which is becoming a very big issue in all around the world. And for the next break, we're gonna rock you guys with a rock band from Indonesia. Sorry.